We have a question on Instagram from JustinLure.art. Has core snowboarding died? No. No, I mean, there's always going to be a core aspect to snowboarding, to anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why someone would think that, I guess. But, I mean, and, unless you're only watching X Games in the Olympics, maybe you would think that. But uh, if you know where else to look within the industry, yeah. I would say it's the opposite. It's thriving. I think that uh, our sport and our culture is growing. And I'm hyped on that, right? And so it might not be as easy for somebody to find. But in this day and age where all you need to find something is one of these, it's like, come on, man. Like, just look a little harder. Yeah. Like, you know, there's there's plenty of media publications and outlets to the bomb hole, right? If you're, if you're watching this or listening to this and you're asking me, or any of us, of course, snowboarding has died. Really? Like, is that, like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I would say that Blake and Sam and Chris are, are core snowboarding, right? Yeah. Core is just an over term, like, overused term. Like, yeah. it's like a marketing term at this point. Like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, well, how are we doing in the core? Like, it's, just like, <laughs> it's just like dumb. It's like dumb to even say core now. And so it's like, there will be people that snowboard for the right reasons, snowboard for themselves. The people, the most core people are the people that go up, snowboard on powder days, don't post it, leave. Like, yeah, buy all their get stuff. Get it, get like 100 yeah. days on hill, buy stuff. Like, Tonino, see him up there, rip and power, Brighton, like Seth up there every day. Like, it's just people that love it the most, that are into the product, that are fans of it, that snowboard for themselves and aren't necessarily like, I'm up here, like, oh, I got to get my next thing, whatever. Like, that's core to me. Like, the consumer can be core. Like, uh, it's yeah. just the, the definition of the word. It's, like, yeah, it's subjective. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, even the people that are in the Brighton parking lot at 7 a.m. cracking fucking tall boys <laughs> uh, every core. weekend, that is, like, as real as it gets, you know? Like, you're paying for a pass, you're just stoked to be up there, and you're immersing yourself in this mountain culture that's yeah it's really amazing i don't know like i got i got an even another perspective shift on core too because if you watch the top competitive snowboarders if you're dropping in and you're doing a fucking 20 foot mctwist i'm sorry there's not that's fucking core that's fucking badass like even contest snowboarding depending on your perspective if you're like look at kaishu Doing a backside, oh, yeah. a 24-foot backside air at X Games in the half pipe or whatever. I don't know the actual height. Don't quote me on that. But that's fucking core. And then dropping in and slashing the pipe, you yeah, know? And 100%. It, it's, it's everywhere you look. So you reminded me of something there, Chris. When it, core, like what, what, what did, what, at, core is a shortened version of hardcore. That's what. In, in our culture and industry, that's core is the hardcore. So the hardcore snowboarder is somebody who's hardcore. Whether it's hardcore at 7 a.m. in the Brighton parking lot, popping a tolly, <laughs> yeah. or it's Kaiju going 17,000 feet out of a 22-foot half pipe at 150 miles per hour. Those are both ha- acts of hardcoreness to me, right? Yeah, just in, I think, it's just very similar obviously those are two completely opposite things the the tolly in the brighton parking lot and the kaishu massive air but i think the inspo is just the fact that we want to be surrounded and strapped to this piece of wood and i think if you really truly care about snowboarding your your core i guess because you if if your life revolves around this thing i don't know obviously some people get paid a lot of money to do it some people don't and everyone has their opinion and take on it, but yeah, I don't know. It's it is like Blake is saying, more of a marketing thing yeah. at this point, I guess. Core snowboarding. Core um, is core is just equal to passion, personal passion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is a great perspective shift, and even to take another step too, it's like the split border that's getting up at six and just bagging laps For on sure. some low angle terrain, but loving it, that's doing hardcore. some wiggles. That's core. Yeah, he's got hardcore passion. The lifty? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. No one's more core than a lifty. Nope. The park builders in the snowcat? 
putting in hours and hours of work. That's core. Ski patrol. Ski patrol, Patrol's that's core. core. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. All right, glad we glad we figured that out. We got that dialed. So yeah. now everybody can stop. We've we've come to the to the end of the internet on core. 